The kiwi, a humble little fruit that everybody associates with New Zealand. But have you ever thought about using it in a cocktail? My name is David Edwards and welcome to Booze on the Rocks. Today we're going to make a cocktail called the Kiwi Kick. And it is very similar to a Kiwi Sour. In fact, you'd almost mistake it for one. But there are a couple of minor changes. Now this cocktail was created by Kevin Chen and he's out of the Bay Area in California. And it looks like its differences will just give it a really unique finish. But before we get started, let's talk about the spirit that we're going to use today, which is Lamb's White Rum. It's a combination of Caribbean rums, it's 40% ABV, and it's now bottled in Ontario, Canada. And the liqueur that we're going to use today is Midori Melon Liqueur. It's a combination of Yubare King Melons and Musk Melons. It's 20% ABV and is produced worldwide, including in Japan, Mexico, and France. Now this is a simple six ingredient cocktail, but we're going to start directly with our kiwi. So what we'll do is we'll cut this in half and then dice up the insides, throwing it into the glass, and then we will muddle it gently. Oh yeah, look at that. Now you wanna make sure that you actually pulverize this really, really well. So your next ingredient is going to be some lemon juice. And what we'll do is cut this in half and squeeze out half an ounce or 15 milliliters into the glass. Now that you've added your sour component, we're going to add a sweet component. In this case, we're going to use a one-to-one -one simple syrup. And what I'll do is I'll put the ingredients and the method of how to make this down in the description down below for you. But we're going to use the same amount of a half an ounce or 15 mils. Now that you've sweetened this up a bit, we are going to add Kevin's special ingredient. In this case, it's Midori melon liqueur. And this will give us those melon liqueurs plus a little bit more sweetness and a little bit of that nuclear green look. So we're going to use, again, half an ounce or 15 mils. And it's looking really good. So what you wanna do now is grab your white rum of choice. In this case, I'm using Lamb's White Rum. Uh, use whatever you want. In fact, if you want to adjust the flavoring, you could actually go from a white rum to something else, but it's totally up to you because it's your cocktail. But we're going to use an ounce and a half or 45 mils. Your next ingredient is egg. Now this is a controversial point because some people do not like egg white or egg products in their cocktails. You'd much rather have say the vegan alternative of a uh, chickpea juice, or you could even get a magic foaming bitter. But I prefer the egg white. I find it gives me a silkier mouth foam and texture and it just holds together better. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna Cut this in half and then split it in half and drop the egg white only into the glass. Oh yeah. Okay, now that you've done that, you wanna make sure that you actually grab two or three one inch by one inch ice cubes. We don't need a lot because what we're going to do is emulsify the egg white in here. But what you have to do is you have to make sure that you shake this very, very hard. So what we're gonna do is we're going to slap this down really hard, give it a flip, and shake it with a smile. Yeah, pop that off with the strength of a thousand uh, kiwis and limes. Drop that off to the side. Now what we're going to do is serve this in a rocks glass. And make sure you shake that hard enough so that you're having a hard time breathing like me. However, what we're going to do is use one big solid rock of ice, just like this, because they're gorgeous. Now, and what we're going to do is we are going to fine strain this. The one thing you need to do know is it will take a little bit longer to strain because of the seeds and the pulp from the kiwi. Ho oh, ho, look at that, absolutely gorgeous. Now this is going to take a moment to separate the layers. So what we'll do for our garnish is we will grab our leftover piece of kiwi, we'll cut a nice little slice off, and then what we'll do is we will just drop it on top. What we'll do is, and this is a kiwi kick. Gorgeous to look at, but how does it taste? Well, immediately you get the smell of kiwi right under the nose. Mm, it's good, it's not sour. You get that melon 
you get that kiwi, slight hints of the rum. And you know what? The sweetness and the citric is balanced absolutely gorgeously. And you have that silky mouth feel. If you like kiwi cocktails, please take a look at this kiwi sour. I think you'll really, really like it.